Okay, so I've been standing out here and uh, went inside to get the camera. 0 0.06 after the heavy rain. We're gonna go check the street curb where the water was running down because this is the kind of test they're doing in Japan. Pretty nice day out now. Clear skies. And our threshold is set at point three. Point zero three, or actually point three. Sorry. I can move my leg to get the shadow here. We are in a drain gutter here, curb gutter. Moisture is evaporating quickly. Particularly, will be left behind though. Zero nine. And like I said, that was heavy rain. It was it was actually slush rain coming down, almost hail, meaning it had to come from an altitude that was freezing, which is well be of above 10,000, 15,000 feet. Not really. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Halfway to my alarm setting, which is the lowest on this device, point three.
makes for pretty boring TV, I guess. the ground. Yeah. Not getting any readings really. So, no elevated readings. I get the same readings as I get inside my room. Oh, really? So, it's nothing to be like alarmed by. And the guy who's in Edmonton is saying that they're like 20 times as high as what I'm getting out of this rain. There's no way, man. He's even, now he's... Yeah, I would be on everything. Like, and, yeah. and and it would be three months worth of rain on everything because yeah, it doesn't exactly. go away. Yeah, it it doesn't. just doesn't go away. It accumulates on the ground. And he refuses to put his meter on the ground like this. He always puts it on a napkin or he puts it inside his truck or on a paper or on a plastic bag or something. So who knows what he's testing. He's testing water drops off windshields. And he's saying he's getting levels that are higher than what I'm getting on the ground, which is impossible. It's almost impossible. Because I've tested the same water. You know, and... Uh, it would show some, you know, spike or something. It would show some rise in level, right? And uh, even a little bit of a level increase, right? But uh, he's getting, like, website coverage now. So people are putting him on their websites. And so he's becoming, like, sort of famous. So now he's, like, you know, playing it, I think. And he's, you know, I could take a, a, a lantern, like a gas lantern. The net inside that is really radioactive, right? I could take the dust off that net and I could put it on a napkin and I could get ridiculously high levels of radiation, right? So I could fudge these numbers and make it look exciting and scare yeah. people. But that's so uncool, man, because there's people in Japan with actual real numbers that are in danger, right? Mm -hmm. and, and they're still living and, in the and, same conditions 